NBA Commissioner Adam Silver recently revealed that pretty much the NBA has already put together the punishment that they're going to give Memphis Grizzlies guard Job Morant for being on Instagram Live with what appeared to be a weapon for a second time in just months' time. They're just waiting till the finals are over. Adam, in a pre-finals interview, said, in terms of the time, and we've uncovered a fair amount of additional information since I was asked about the situation, we probably could have brought it to a head now, but we made the decision, and I believe the Players Association agrees with us that it would be unfair to the players and these teams in the middle of the series to announce the result of that investigation. So you could probably expect John Moran to find out his punishment right after the NBA Finals reaches its completion. I'm assuming they're going to allow you know, teams to celebrate, have their day in the sun, whoever wins this championship. And then after the dust settles, I think in probably a week or two time, we will find out just how many games Ja Morant will be suspended this time around. I've seen a lot of uh, floating reports out there. I'm, you know, you see 30 games, 40 games. Let me tell you something. I, I wouldn't believe that. I would not look too far into the reports you see online about Ja's team thinking it's going to be 30 games. I wouldn't believe any of that. So I, I reached out to somebody that has a hand somewhere in, in a very important place to find out what was he hearing about a job Moran suspension. And I'll tell you what the person told me in a second, how many games they told me at least. And then I felt good about the number that they told me because then I heard Adrian Wojnowski on ESPN say the same number. So I was like, okay, I feel good about what my guy told me. 17 games is what I'm hearing about what John Morant will likely be suspended for. And I'll break it down to you why 17 games makes a lot of sense. If you remember correctly, technically, Ja got suspended eight games for his in-season incident where he had the alleged weapon on his Instagram live back in Colorado. If you go 17 games, you pretty much double that suspension and, and add one game additional to it. So eight to 17 I think you definitely send a message. You definitely alter the Memphis Grizzlies season, but you do not end it. And if you think about it from this perspective, y'all know next year, the NBA is implementing a new all NBA MVP, you know, defensive player. Year. All the awards pretty much are based off guys playing at least 65 games to even be eligible for said awards. So I think what Adam Silver is going to do, he said, you know, we don't want to take, the opportunity for John Morant to win anything next year from an individual player's perspective. I mean, keep in mind, Josh pretty much already lost $35, $40 million because of that this season. For those who don't know, John Morant did not make any of the all NBA teams. Had he made an all NBA team, his contract would have been able to be enhanced by one additional year and 40 more million dollars. Ja was going to make third team all NBA over Damian Lillard in my estimations. If he never got suspended, if he never misses the eight games, has that incident in season, I believe he makes all NBA over Damian Lillard on that third team. Because of that, he loses out on $35, $40 million. He can't get that money back. So obviously it's too late for Ja to get that type of bread back. But obviously there are incentives and endorsements that come with making all NBA teams obviously winning MVP awards. So I think what Adam Silver is going to do is say, yo, job, since you put yourself in this position, you got to do everything perfect by the book. You got to be a great player, number one. And then you got to play in every game you're eligible to play in. So I think that's how Adam's going to shake it out. He's going to pretty much suspend Josh 17 games, allow him 65 games. Yo, bro, you want to make some type of awards list, you got to play every game. That'll be kind of like a secondhand punishment to John ja Morant. But let's be honest. I mean, I don't think 17 games is enough to end the Grizzly season. They actually play pretty darn good without Ja. And, you know, guys will be fired up to start the year next year. I could see them getting off to a 12 and 5, 11 and 6 start with Tyrus Jones likely being a starting point guard and Ja's absence once again. I could see them getting off to a good start without job. You know, I do think if, if it's anything over 17 games, let's say I'm wrong. Let's say it's in the 20s or 30s. What I believe is going to hurt the Memphis Grizzlies the most is 
you know, they're already a small to mid market team. They're going to have a hard time getting free agents to say, yo, if I'm on a one year deal, why the heck would I go there? They're going to be without their best player. You know, if it's more than a month's worth of time, they're going to be without their best player two months of the season. If I can get the same money somewhere else, I'd just rather go elsewhere. So from that perspective, I definitely could see that hurt in Memphis if it's longer than 17 games. But my guess, I think it's going to be 17 games. I think that's the number you want to look out for regarding John Morant as Adam Silver, the commissioner of the NBA, said, yo, we already know what we're going to do for him. We already know how we're going to do it to him. We just don't know when we're going to do it to him because we're allowing the NBA Finals to play out. And clearly, Adam knows he's got a banger of announcement, you know, on the way because whatever number they give Jive, he knows it is going to steal some headlines from whatever's going on in the world whenever they drop that bombshell of an announcement. I want to thank you guys so much for the time, the love, and support. It's what you bought. We'll never take for granted. What would be the game's number you would give young John ja Morant for being he's pretty much broken an unwritten rule it's conduct detrimental to the NBA it's bad branding how many games would you suspend John ja Morant for his second stint allegedly flashing a weapon on social media I'm out